hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by and visiting with me in this video i would like to put the happy mail halloween happy mail that or craft swap that i'm doing with susan and i wanted to go ahead and show you what i put together for her and some of the projects you guys have already seen but i just thought this was such an adorable idea so last year after Halloween was already over. I went to Home Goods and I found these little bags. And I, you can already tell this is like my favorite. I think I actually picked this one up for from um, Burlington Co. Factory, and it was two ninety nine. Um, and so you could already tell that this one's mine <laughs> because of the colors, right? Even though the collection that i'm using for halloween is has nothing to do with candy corn but i'm still gonna keep it um so that one was the only one that i found at burlington coat factory these other ones were from home goods and at home goods they were 4.99 but again this is an after sale so i don't honestly remember if they were even cheaper than that it comes with two bags um, and this is another one that I bought so they have different designs but I thought it would be super cute to use this I think this is actually a trick-or-treat bag you guys but I thought it would be cute to put the happy mail in one of these bags and also because the person receiving it could use it to carry their October daily um, agenda or planner in here and since I'm using a six by eight um, binder or album for my October daily this year it fits perfectly in here with the extra embellishments and things like that so um, I just wanted to show you these are my spares um, I don't know if they're gonna have that this year but that is what I'm using to put the happy mail together again with the idea that um, they could use this as their carry bag for the month of October and put their little October daily or their little agenda in here with all their little embellishments and decorative pieces. So this is the bag that I chose for Susan. And I'm just gonna put it aside. It's also 10 by 10. I don't know if I said that. So the size is like 10 by 10. I don't know the width of it. So the first thing that I'm going to throw, and sorry for the lighting, you guys. It's like really late. It's like thundering outside. Um, so if you hear like the thunder, that's what it is. And then again, I just finished the previous video. Mike and the kids are playing Minecraft in the living room. So I told them to keep it low, but we know how they could get. So if you hear those noises, <laughs> that's what they're doing. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to add into her uh, bag is this little embellishment box that I created last year for myself. I didn't get to use all of it. I've added a few new things and I just thought it would be a neat because it's like one of those boxes from like the dollar store. So again, easy to carry with your binder um, and it, it's not heavy at all. So I've added some sequin as you can see some chipboard um, some of those wooden accents down here and here some what are these called brands i don't i'm not exactly sure two little kitten clips that i thought were super adorable some pumpkins and then some spider charms and whatnot so that is her embellishment box and we're gonna put that in here and then I found the rest of the stuff is just kind of scattered, okay? So you guys have seen this. This is the sequin mix again as well that we created. So I'm going to add that in there. I've also added a few of Halloween washi tapes that are going to go in there as well. I've added um, some black and white twine. These black in orange gelatos this one's in the mango color and this one is iced coffee again halloween colors 
um let's see okay and the rest of the stuff is just really stuff that i kind of put together i am adding the rip ripping pumpkin nouveau drops in her bag i've created these tags you guys saw i'm giving giving her two of these tags in there i created the little four by six halloween mini album to go in there as well so that's gonna go in there and i found a couple bags that i've just had laying around so i'm gonna include that i finally i went to tuesday morning that was like super far from my house um it's like a 40 minute drive and i found already pre-cut die cuts of spider webs this was from american crafts so i'm gonna add that in there and then these pink paisley spell cast um halloween stickers i'm going to add the beautiful night um stickers as well again from american crafts I'm going to add the stencil, which is, remember I bought like two or three, no, two of these and then three of the other ones. So for her, I'm going to add the one that's the burlap. Let's add that in there. I'm going to add this little bucket that I found, I think from Target last, last year. I've added the two little embellishments that we made. I am going to add one more of the paper clip style ones and then just added some wood accents. So it's going to go in there. And then here I added a cat paper clip. And then I don't need to go in detail because you guys have seen this vid the video of how I made the rosettes and how I made the tickets. So just gave her a few. And those are. I'm going to be going to her in the back like that and then to go with this collection i am adding the 12 by 12 paper that i purchased for her so the first one is the simple stories chipboard stickers and then the leftover of the 12 by 12 stickers that i had a few sheets of paper and then this is the collection that i had gotten for her which is the haunted house kit and um it already comes with the stickers and those colors i was gonna do like a big um october daily like a laminated october daily but i don't think i'm gonna have time to do that so i'd rather just send the kit um to go along with the bag together so that way she wants to do whatever craft or scrapbook or journal then she has the complete kit for that um so along with that going since you know susan is i'm good she lives in canada but i'm gonna take advantage that i'm sending her this box i am also going to be sending this six by eight um notebook that honestly just has nothing but pretty paper it is a mixture of collections and I just love the way it turned out. It's basically just like a gathering of pretty paper and she could do whatever she wants with it. I know this is not Halloween, but because it is going towards her, um, obviously I'm gonna be sending everything together. And then you guys have seen this one. I will be sending that. I will be sending the post-it stamps, the tag the scraps of vintage um, paper and then just a couple of postcards so that even though this is not halloween this is going to be going in her happy mail so i don't have to pay twice basically that's what it is and that is going to be for susan's um happy mail swap for halloween swap that we decided to do Okay, I know I was taking a little bit, you guys. So originally, I told you guys that I was doing this happy mail because I was doing a swap with another YouTube channel. Well, I still haven't heard anything. I haven't um, 
really looked for it neither or signed up for it. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do a happy meal like like a giveaway to you guys instead. So this is what's gonna be up for grabs. This is, we're gonna name this one, we'll just do Day of the Dead because most of the stuff that I have in here is for Day of the Dead. Um, so the winner is gonna get this bag. Let me open it here and then a couple of things so just give me a second so an embellishment box as you guys can see it is not completed but it does have a few of day of the dead and halloween decorations it's kind of like a mixture so i'm gonna put that in there i'm going to add the sugar skulls flowers flowers again some of this stuff is like day of the dead inspired so i'm gonna add that the two tags um, that we created, the little four by six uh, journal or Halloween mini album that we created. And then in here is all the rosettes and the tickets and some tags, just really tickets and the tags that we made. So I'm gonna add that in here. more of those uh, spider web that I told you guys I picked up some stickers a stamp set because I did not end up using them this is from cray paper after dark some more of these bags that honestly I just need to find a way to keep them together the Tim Holtz um, Halloween script uh, stencil. Put that in there. The American Crab Spooky um, foam stickers. Also, it's from the collection After Dark. So just gonna add that in there. It's starting to not fit. And then in here, the same a little bucket it's honestly i think supposed to be like a witch's thing i don't know the sequin um i have the ghost in here and then the pumpkins and the bats in there and then just a happy halloween and the ghost two of the paper clips that we created these are still drying so i'm gonna let them sit out a little bit more and then to go with this um this happy mail is this kit of dia de los muertos and it just has all that pretty paper in there so this is going to be up for grabs we said this one is going to be called day dia de los muertos day of the dead and um you guys know the deal i keep it very simple the first 10 comments on this video will be the ones to um to be put in for the drawing and then we're either going to do the automatic number pull of 1 through 10 or one of my kids or my husband will pull your name. Um, as you comment, I will give you like a number and once I get to 10, that is going to be it. So hopefully you guys make it um, before then. So this is going to be, again, because... I just decided to share with you guys instead of doing the the swap with another channel so there's nothing I mean there's nothing wrong with it I just didn't want to keep waiting I'm ready to get rid of this stuff so I could start working on my own October daily so um yeah so that's why I just wanted to send it out to you guys rather so this is gonna be uh, the first one and then I have a second one you guys so let me go grab it the sec or the third one because the first one is Susan's and obviously that's hers but for the actual giveaway I only have two happy mail bags so let me pull everything out and then I'll show you 
This person, whoever is the winner, is also going to be getting the, the same bag. Remember, um, I said that they come in two. Um, so this is the second one. It says Bouillon, which is such a southern thing. Okay. <laughs> so again, for this one, the embellishment box is not complete fully decorated but it does have a few things in all the spaces some stickers some sequins the little cat clips enamel dots and then some chipboard uh, sentiments there the beware sign two tags so you guys can see that we made the four by six mini album each of the bags is gonna have one of those four by six. And then this little notebook I created for my October daily last year. And because my October daily ended up being so bulky, I had to remove one of the inserts. And so this one I am going to pass along. Hopefully the person can use it even just to doodle or whatever. So I'm gonna add that in there. This one is going to have the Purple Rain Nouveau Drop, the other sequin mixture that we did with the medicine bottles, and then in here is just two of those embellishments, and I'm also adding two of the paperclip style ones that are going to go in there, um, Pumpkin Ghost, and then a Spider Charm. In this little bag, I have the rosettes and the tickets that we made. You guys have already seen that. I added, I think, three, three or four of each. So those are in this bag. I've added a tag that I made, and I never showed you guys how I made this. But a tag, um, some pockets. This one actually got the black spider web die cuts or cutouts. Um, more of those um, beautiful night stickers the beautiful night um, stamps uh, Halloween stamps this one is also getting the Halloween script uh, stencil a set of stickers Halloween in gold I don't know if it's gonna fit in here and then this one is getting the kit this is the kit that i used last year for my october daily and then somebody commented i said this last year but somebody commented on my video and i was i made contact with the person and i asked them you know like if they wanted me to create like a laminated binder how i had done mine you know what I'm just gonna link the video below in case you wanna check it out. But I had asked the person if they wanted me to create like a, a little agenda for them, like a la laminated V6 style, and they never responded. But I had already ordered the kit because I wanted to do it for them for like free because I just like doing crafty things. And they never responded, so I just held on to this um so that i could use it this year and i thought it would just go perfect with this um little giveaway so this is going to be the watercolor halloween kit so these are going to go together again um one through ten comments only they can't be duplicates and um, we'll pull the drawing um we'll announce the winners obviously and you guys, I mean, if you're here and you guys are the ones first to comment, then I know that you guys are regulars, so you know how this thing works. Um, and yeah, just wanted to share this happy meal, you guys. I think it's super cute. And like I said, what a perfect crafty treat, right? Um, so hopefully um, you guys participate and uh, hopefully you like this happy meal idea for um for you guys just a small way again to say thank you for being so supportive of my channel and um i hope that you guys like it so good luck to all the participants and we will catch you on the next video have a good one
Bye.